Tonight's contestants on 31 Questions are playing for a cash jackpot of zero dollars. And now, here's the star of the show, Tony Baba. I'm, to I'm David M. Green, and this is 31 Questions. The game show that's on TV and hosted by me. So that narrows it down for you. Hi, I'm David M. Green. <clears throat> Let's have a round of applause for TV voiceover legend Pete Smith. <laughs> Thank you. 50 years with Channel 9 this year, and he still has time to be in a sketch for us on Channel 31. Pure class, and a, a really nice guy as well. Thank you so much. And speaking of which, not nice guys, but nice girls. Allow me to introduce our delightful scorekeeper, Sophie Lochran. Hi, David. I heard a wild rumour about you during the week. Oh, really? Someone saw you eating out of a dumpster. How does this get out? I read it in Cosmo. <laughs> cool. Well, it's, it's, all, it's all good publicity. And a man who's in a class of his own, I think it's the remedial class, 31 Questions moderator, Anthony McCormack. <laughs> See, some people can't handle it, David. Rules get booze. I eat rules for breakfast. I've come here today to regurgitate them over everyone. <laughs> all right, great. It's all right. I've been in a dumpster already today, so anything I splash on myself is going to be just fun. Anthony, who are tonight's contestants? Our first contestant comes to us from war-torn Prussia, where he received the Purple Cross for bravery. After the dissolution of his marriage to Mickey Rourke, their despair drove them back to a career of underground boxing, whereupon he was pummeled mercilessly by heavyweights until he was virtually unrecognisable. Please welcome Zill. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Zill, Zill, what's that, what's that written on your shirt there? It looks like a popular soft drink brand, which we're not it, allowed to mention. It actually says Camp Quebec. Okay, now is that from... Quebec? Uh, no, it's actually from Pennsylvania. I, uh, last year I went, on, went to America and taught woodwork to small Jewish children. Mm. But it's difficult to teach five-year-olds how to make things out of wood. Okay, well I hope you have more success teaching that to us here tonight. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks for Thank coming. You. Anthony, who's the other one? Our second contestant this evening, David, is Jane. She's allergic to wheatgrass. <laughs> Jane, thanks for, thanks for coming on the show. Is that true? No, it's not. What are your real ad allergies? Uh, bearded men. Right. Uh, <laughs> Look out, Anthony. No, I'm, I'm pretty good. Don't okay. really have any. What do, you, what do you do with yourself? What's I'm your day job? A, I'm a student. Yep. Yes. What do you study? Uh, Master of Information Management. Okay, well... Plenty of info on the show. If you can somehow work out how to manage it, you may come out with some fabulous prize. Thank you. Right. Well, let's have a quick test of the buzzers. Can, can we do that? Do you want to hit that for us, Zill? <coughs> Works fine. And Jane, just tap that for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always a thrill when things work. <laughs> OK. Let's ask 31 questions. <laughs> round one this evening is the general knowledge round. I've got some questions about things that I will read out aloud, not just in my head. We made that mistake once, never again. <laughs> a correct answer and you receive one point. Answer incorrect, you lose a point, and I'll give you this. Ah, that worked perfectly. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's do the show. Question one, which TV detective was assisted by a dog called Brain? Stinky? Oh, no, you just got in. Zill, what are you? Stinky? Slinky, no. Stinky in the brain. Stinky in the brain. What was that? It's a cartoon. You mean Pinky in the brain. Oh, damn it. <laughs> TV detective was assisted by a dog called Brain. Yes? Yes, it was. One point to you. Give him some lollies or something. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. Again. If I ask to be addressed as Ms. David M. Green, what does the Ms. say about me? Jane? That you're not married, well, we don't know if you're married or unmarried. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> might be married, might not be. It's my choice. I, uh, I believe, David, it says more about you than that. 
Shall we go into it? No, let's not. <laughs> How often is the Australian census issued? Zil? Every two years. No. Anyone in the audience? Five? That is correct. So the next one... Uh, the next one's in 2016 or 2021, depending on whether we can get this show on TV uh, within the next four years. <laughs> Multiple choice. Which of the following is a real state of the United States of America? New Washington, Dakota Fanning, West Virginia, or South Carolina? Zill? South Carolina. Correct. I, uh, I actually took the family down to West uh, Virginia. <laughs> really? over, the, over the summer, Dave. How Don't go in the summer. <laughs> Karen O is the lead singer of which band? Anyone? Karen O? Yeah, yeah, yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which classic film was advertised with the tagline, In Space No One Can Hear You Scream? Uh, too late, but what did you have anyway? Alien. Alien? That would have been right. <laughs> oh, you got to get in there early. Oh, that's all right. You'll have more chances. The night is young. In darts, what is the highest number of points you can get with a single throw? Zil? Sixty. Correct. Yeah. What? Why is it sixty? Uh, because you hit a triple on a twenty. Tripled on the twenty. You are a dart man. No. No. Right. <laughs> I've played it a couple of times. But... Okay. See if you get this. In darts, what is the lowest number of points you can get with a single throw? Zil? One. No. Really? It's zero if you miss the board. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly hit someone in the eye. And uh, that's really going to cost you. But right now it's time for Word on the Street, where we go to the people on the streets, or just the footpath if there's too much traffic and it's a hazard, and get, and get their two cents worth on the big issues. So we'll show our contestants a short clip of some strangers talking about a topic. Contestants have to guess the topic they're talking about. Guess right, I'll give you five points. There's no penalty if you guess wrong. Remember, don't buzz in until the clip is finished. What are these people talking about? Oh, I get my friends to do it because they can do it with their tea. Actually, I've got one on me right now. I don't know, because some of them are small as buttons, aren't they? Uh, shiny, rigid, very strong. Comes in weird shapes sometimes. I might have one on my keychain, actually. I have several of them. I keep them on my keychain. Jane, just got it. A key? Key. Oh, I don't know. I'm down on the scene. What is it, me? It's a bottle opener, David. That kind of creeps me out just a little bit. <laughs> bottle opener. Let's have another one. Say so it must be about four centimetres long, usually a whitish colour. There's, there's, there's some risk. A range of thicknesses. Probably $20 a packet. I don't mind, it doesn't bother me. I'm not against it, I just don't do it myself. But they ruin your voice. Ooh, Zil. Cigarettes. Is it cigarettes? I believe we're going to cross now to Samuel L. Jackson. What is the answer, Sam? Cigarettes! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Five points. And just because I'm generous, let's have one more. So it's pretty much what I'm doing now. Well, I actually know what you're doing to me now. It involves a microphone and two people. Oh, you're randomly walking down the street and some charming fellows come up and ask you some questions. Try and get short comment from them on a particular matter or a particular topic. We currently are participating in this activity right now. Ooh, Zil? Interviewing? I don't know. Do you want to have a guess as well, Jane? I was going to say the same thing. Interviewing. What is the answer? The Vox Pops. Vox Pops! That, that's what they're called. A little known fact. That's it's a technical term. So, uh, what do you think, Anthony? Can we give them any points for that? No points for anyone. I mean, the, the points they already have, yeah. Keep, keep those. <laughs> We're going to take a break, but before we do, let's check the scores with Sophie. Well, David, we had some early negative points, but luckily we've got Zill on the board with four. Jane's just following on zero. Well, well, well done, Zill. You're leading. Um, kind of disappointed about that. I was hoping you'd have zero so I could say Zill's on zilch. 
<laughs> Winners be grinners. <laughs> Probably just as well it, that didn't happen. We'll be right back with more 31 Questions. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to 31 Questions, the TV game show from the makers of My Solarium Rules, Master Made, and So You Want to Be a Goldfish. <laughs> I'm David M. Green. Let's have a quick reminder of the scores. We have Zill on four and Jane on nothing. But there's still time, so don't you worry. Plenty of show left. Oh, just before we continue, Anthony, is that a new tie you have? Uh, it's an old tie, David, but I've put an exclamation mark on it. Right. <laughs> do you like that? Well, why, why, why would you do that? Pretty fashionable, eh? I just, I just, week after week, I see your question marks and I get a little jealous and I just thought, I just go the exclamation mark. Okay, all right. What about you, Sophie? Are you wearing any punctuation this evening? An asterisk or parentheses, perhaps? Just my colon. <laughs> when is it? Similar to What's the Time, Mr. Wolf, but with much less horrific mauling. <laughs> I didn't say there's none. <laughs> so what happens here is I go through some events that occurred in a specific year from Earth's history. Contestants need to tell me the year I'm talking about. It gets easier as I go on, and by the end, it's usually ridiculously obvious. So if you get in early, you get more points. Guess wrong, you're out. All the clues go to the other person. Here we go. When is it? Nelson Mandela refused an offer of freedom from the South African government, opting to stay in jail rather than abandon the fight against apartheid. Thide. Thide? Good one. Neighbours premiered on Australian television. A galaxy of stars came together to record the single We Are The World to raise money... Jane. 1985. Correct! <laughs> well done. When is it? The 1964 motion picture Mary Poppins is set in this year. Halley's Comet is... Jane? I... 1903. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Sorry. Zill, all the clues go to you. Buzz in at any time. Halley's Comet is visible from Earth. Mark Twain dies and allegedly rides away on Halley's Comet. <laughs> the, first, the First World War is still four years away. 1910. You got it. Mark Twain. Interestingly, born in, I forget, but that was a Halley's Comet year as well. So I think he arrived on Halley's Comet, left on Halley's Comet. He'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This year started on a Thursday. It does narrow it down. Cosmologists announced that the universe's expansion rate is increasing, despite Monty Python having already made light of the fact in their 1983 film, The Meaning of Life. At 23 years old, Bear Grylls becomes the youngest British climber to summit Mount Everest. Titanic wins a record 11 Oscars this year. Monica Lewinsky accuses US President Bill Clinton of sexual harassment. Have a guess, come on. 87? Mm, Hell no. <laughs> Jane, you have, have, a, have a guess for zero points? No? Uh, 97. Not quite anyone in the audience. I think everyone in the audience knows it. Anyone? <laughs> yes. 98. 98. Well done. So close. It's time now for Philosophy Smackdown, where contestants put their philosophical expertise to the test as they attempt to identify the musings of famous philosophers. First up, it's Frederick Nietzsche versus John Paul Sartre. Very simple. I'm going to read a quote, name the philosopher who said it. Nietzsche or Sartre? Two points for a correct answer, two points deducted if you're wrong. You know, you've got at least a 50-50 chance. That's my philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nietzsche or Sartre? Name the philosopher who said, man is condemned to be free. Jane? Sartre. Correct. If you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Jane? Nature. Yes! Oh. You're on a roll here. You are catching up fast. All right. Bonjour. <laughs> Zill? Paul Sartre. Correct. <laughs> Sartre was French. He probably said it more, right? Am I right? 
No? All right. <laughs> and our second battle tonight, it's Emmanuel Kant versus Rebecca Black. That's right. Name the philosopher who said it. Kant or Black. May you live your life as if the maxim of your actions were to become universal law. Zill? Emmanuel Kant. Yes. Yay. Well done. Morality is not the doctrine of how we make ourselves happy, but how we can make ourselves worthy of happiness. Emmanuel Zill? Kant. Yes. <laughs> partying, partying, yeah, fun, fun. Rebecca Black. <laughs> Correct. Uh, just for you at home, the full quote there, fun, 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 looking forward to the weekend. So think about that. <laughs> Moving along to quotes of a different kind, in May the Quote Be With You, where Sophie, Anthony and I will be quoting a few scenes from well-known motion pictures, and if you can name the film, I'll give you five points. No penalty if you guess wrong. Take yourself away, Sophie. I know you can be overwhelmed, and you can be underwhelmed, but can you ever just be well? I think you can in Europe. Zill? Legally Blonde? No. Uh, Jane, you, you got one? It just won't come to me. It just won't come to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a good name for a film. Anyone in the audience want to have a guess? No? Sophie, what was, the, what was the, that film? Ten Things I Hate About You, David. Ah. I don't hate you, David. <laughs> All right. Over to you, Anthony. You're about to jump out of a perfectly good airplane, Johnny. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyone? Anyone at all? Oh, well, hang on. Flying high? Airplane in some countries. Anthony, what was the actual movie? It is, in fact, Point Break, which was directed oh. by... Academy Award winner. Really? I'm Catherine Bigelow. I'm thinking of Gross Point Blank. You're thinking of absolutely the wrong movie, <laughs> Dave. All right, here's one from me. Oh, my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I've encountered in my travels, this is the most. human. Zill? Beetlejuice. Oof. No. Uh, Jane? No? no? Anyone? Oh, I'm sure there's someone back there. I can tell by the pants. Star Trek 2? Yes! <laughs> well done. <laughs> Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan. Starring the, I was going to say the late Will, William Shatner. He's still alive. So that would be inappropriate. <laughs> the on-time William Shatner. <laughs> And now for the group scene. Let's go, people. You look like you have a question. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, maybe you already answered this, but um, why exactly are we here? Son? Second Lieutenant Jake Jensen, West Point, graduate with honors. We're here because you're looking for the best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> What's so funny, Edwards? Boy, Captain America over here. <laughs> best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> With honors. It's just, he's really excited, yet he has no clue why we're here. So it's <laughs> very funny to me, but uh, you all ain't laughing, though. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> no? Anyone in the audience? Man in Black is the correct answer. Ah. You guys need to go to the cinema more. Screw you, pal. Rightly so. This is 31 Questions. Stay tuned for the final round and the announcing of tonight's glorious winner. We'll be right back. Welcome back to 31 Questions, the greatest TV game show this side of Swanston Street and still technically within the hoddle grid of the Melbourne Central Business District. What an achievement. <laughs> And they said it would never work. I'm David M. Green. You know, originally, when we told management we wanted to do a game show, they thought we meant game as in, you know, buffalo and moose. Jeez, people are just idiots. The cast and crew of 31 Questions do not believe their management are idiots. So let's play 31 Questions.
Going into the final round of the show, what are the scores, Sophie Loughran? Well, to be honest, David, I really think that the audience is doing better than our contestants tonight. No offence, guys. Um, however... I think they're deeply offended, Sophie, <laughs> and I think you should apologise right now. Sorry. That's better. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> The real scores are Zill out in front on a whopping 14 and Jane back in eight. All right. <laughs> Anthony, sir, you are the official 31 Questions show moderator. I have to say, David, that Sophie raises a valid point. Uh, the audience is currently winning <laughs> and I, I don't care for that at all. So I am going to have to take six points off the audience. What are you doing? Yeah, I know, boo-hoo. And I'm going to have to give them directly to Jane. That now puts us into a direct tie, which will make, which will make for a very exciting final round, but I'm just going to have to live with that. In Incredible that the game could just magically work out like that. Isn't this fantastic television? No? All right. Super hyperspace lightning round time. 62 seconds of rapid fire questions. One point for a correct answer, one point off if you're wrong. Whoever has the most points at the end of this round is tonight's champion. And as Billy Ocean once said, when the going gets tough, get into my car. <laughs> All right, let's have the clock. <laughs> it takes its time. No? All right. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Your time starts now. How many teaspoons are there in one tablespoon? Jane? Three. Correct. Where, where is the big banana located? Jane? Can I say Queensland? Uh, you can, but you'd be wrong. Uh, Coffs Harbour. Coffs Harbour. And thanks for keeping that clean as well. We could have gone anywhere with that. In the Disney film, what is the name of The Little Mermaid? Jane, just got in. Ariel. Correct. What does RMIT stand for? Jane? Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. Correct. What is 23 to the power of 1? Zill? Sorry. 23. Uh, what was the name of the first video arcade game that Mario appeared in? Jane? Mario Kart? No. So Donkey Mario Kong. Yeah, Donkey right. Kong. What sort of seeds does Nick is Nick Cave associated with? <laughs> uh, Jane, I think you just got in. Bad. Bad seeds. Yes. Uh, and bad music. Oh. <laughs> Anthony. Well, Sophie tallies the final results. I think she needs to send them off to Lisbon, Portugal, to get computerized or something. What do you think of tonight's contestants? I always enjoy seeing at least one of the contestants lose. <laughs> so, Sophie, what is what? Who is tonight's winner? David, I'd like to think that we're all winners, but it seems like Jane's come out on top tonight with a 16. Sorry, Zill, 13. <laughs> Jane, well, well done. You came from behind magically. That's that's fantastic. Zill, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't go home empty-handed. Uh, you're going to help carry the garbage out. So someone will, <laughs> someone will talk to you, someone will talk what to you later. What a comfort. But, hey, thanks for coming. Thank you for Appreciate having it. me on. Jane, we have something for you. Congratulations, you are tonight's winner of 31 Questions. Tell her what she's won, Anthony! Yes, David, 9 out of 10 meteorologists swear by the David M. Green calendar. <laughs> Check all your important dates. Check them again. Measure how much time has passed since the last time you checked them. <laughs> Featuring a variety of different pages, all with the same picture, it's a fantastic paper-based technology Google has all but made obsolete. <laughs> David. Well, hey, there you go. I hope you enjoy that. It is the calendar for 1985, so um, it's not going to be much use to you, but... I'm sure you can work out something. If I can interrupt, David, not only does the winner walk away with something, but we also have something for the loser. We, we're sending them on a trip, I believe. I believe we have some footage where we're sending the loser. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please thank tonight's contestants. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to Anthony and Sophie. They do great work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, 31 Questions, 31 Questions. It's on the bottom of your screen, so you know it isn't. Well, I'm David M. Green, and until next we meet, whether in the street or in the glorious new workers' utopia, where we shall eat bread and be productive, I'll leave you now with this message that Soviet supermen are our superiors. Good night, comrades.